After reaching its all-time high of $62,000, Bitcoin crashed yesterday by more than 19% and touched $50,000. But after that, we are showing some recovery and currently dealing on $53,000. But what if I tell you that this rise is very temporary and very short term? Because Bitcoin chart is showing some very bearish signs and something that we need to keep in mind. So jump in to today's video and let's check out what Bitcoin has in store for us. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Hello friends. I am Soham and today I'm going to bring to you Bitcoin charts that are telling some stories. I'm going to reveal those stories to you. If you like the content, feel free to like, share, subscribe to our channel. Also, if you like to discuss about cryptocurrencies, join our Facebook community. The link is given in the description below. Also, join our Telegram channel where we like to discuss on the real time as well. So let's jump into today's video. So here we are in the Bitcoin weekly chart, right? And here we have plotted two moving averages. One is the moving average for 20 weeks. The other one is the 21 weeks EMA, right? So what happens basically is this is called the Bitcoin bull market support band, right? So whenever the market is, is, is bullish, it actually, you know, uh, you know, respects these moving averages. So you can see right from uh, after the coronavirus lockdown. Uh, so about last April or so, this uh, we moved up uh, of this support band. And since then we have been going upwards, right? So this is a good sign that we are doing right now. But I have some bad news for you, right? So let's jump in to the daily chart. So in the daily chart, uh, let's quickly plot the RSI. Right. So this is the RSI uh, that we have on our daily charts, right? And you can see we made high, higher high, higher high. So this should be very good, right? This should be uh, a great structure that Bitcoin was forming, right? But there is something else that we need to notice. So when I say that we are making high higher high and higher high we must always keep a look on the rsi as well so the while the bitcoin price chart was making new higher highs the rsi was actually marking lower highs right so here high price makes higher high rsi makes lower high again price makes higher high the 62000 uh, mark that we reached and the rsi reached a lower high right so this is something that is called bearish divergence uh, when the price is moving higher but the rsi is getting lower by the day right and there's one more thing that i would like uh, your attention on is basically if i draw a straight line from here right something of this sort and i draw the bottom of these as well what we can notice is a descending triangle is getting formed in the rsi so this is not a very good sign this is something we need to keep our eyes on right one more factor is the measurements the movements that came down and the and the the, the downward movements and the upward movements right so first we came down on after this january 8th high we came down by approximately uh, 32 percent then after this high on 21st february we came down by 26 percent and then the re most recent high that we made sixty two thousand dollars right on 12th of march we came down by another 19 percent so the one thing you can notice here is the downward journey the downward percentage is getting lesser by the day right but there's one more thing to this after this downward journey what if i told you that the upward drive is also getting slower right for example from this down 
of 62 of around 28,800 dollars we went up to 103% right and we went up around 58,000 dollars now after that we came down again and touched 42,700 dollars from there we went up 45 percent right again we had this correction wherein we came down to 50 percent and don't be surprised if we move about 30 percent or so right around so this is around 65 thousand dollars so don't be surprised if we are able to click 65 thousand we mark an all-time high and then we come down again right so what we need to do is basically when we are going for the all-time high this rsi should print a higher higher high than the last one that will break this pattern that that will break this sequence right one more thing which is of concern to me currently is the fear and greed index so here we are on the fear and greed index and we are on the one year time frame so here you can see from November till January 10th, we made a beautiful market structures, right? Beautiful. This was a wonderful market structure that we made and market structures are very important. If we are going to, you know, go higher, if we are to go north in the market. So market structures are very important. Then we came down at the 75 level, right? 75 level. Again, there was a support here from the September this sorry this was 40 this was not 75 this was 40 so we came down to 40 which was a support earlier right so 40 is the next key level for us we made good market structure in September so we came back down to 40 tried getting up it got rejected again at around we came back 55 then we went up and again we tried creating some uh, some market structure and this was around this was actually good 93 94 level then we got down again this time we broke the 40 level right but the thing that i want you guys to notice is the market structure that is getting created after or i should say from 4th of march right 4th of march it was 84 then 9th march 81 then we go to 14th march 78 then we go to 20th march 75 so what you can see here is we are getting lower highs as we are moving ahead right and then we got the final uh, we got down again to 54 that was on march 26th so one other thing if we are going for an all-time high that the market needs to do is basically break this pattern and get a spike over this 75 level this is again very very important right one more thing on the weekly chart that i would like to tell you guys is bitcoin in this cycle has been following a moving average very closely and that is the eight day eight weeks moving average right so the green one if you can see okay let me just change the color so you can see the moving average right we went up to zoom in a bit so we went up on the 19th of october and from that day we have been respecting this moving average the 21 week ema is always there this is this has always been the um, been the bottom in the bull markets as far as bitcoin is concerned not only in this cycle but in all the cycles in the past as well right you can see here in 2017 also we were respecting the 21 week ema right and when we came down we came down hard right and again in the 2019 uh, when the price got a bit up then again we were respecting the uh, the 21 week ema if we close a candle right if we close a candle below this 21 week ema then there is serious problem but until and unless that it's 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 all good right so what my focus was basically i wanted to tell you is this eight weeks moving average it's not ema it's not exponential moving average it's the moving average simple moving average so we came down again and hit 
the eight weeks moving average. So whenever we are doing a trade, this eight week moving average is something that we need to keep an eye on. So even if we are above this eight week moving average, there's always a good chance that we might come down and again retest this eight week moving average. That is very, very important, right? One more thing, last thing that I wanted to tell you guys is basically the momentum in the market, which we track via this stochastic RSI. So let's zoom into this. So the stochastic RSI, as you can see, it got up close to 19, then it got rejected this week, right? So you need to keep your eyes on the stochastic RSI. As I told you in my last video about Ethereum, the stochastic RSI is a very, very good indicator, right? If we are able to jump into this zone above 20 and cross the red line there, the move's gonna be pretty historic, right? So last time, how much did we achieve? After crossing this, we crossed this on, okay. We crossed this on around uh, 28th September. And when we crossed down, it was 18th of January, right? So from 21st, 20, 28th September, let us just draw a line where we were. From 28th September, we went straight up to till 18th January, right? Let's take the middle point. We went a modest 225%, right? So this is something that gives you or gives us rather a head start about where the market is heading. This actually tells us about the momentum of the market. So keep your eyes on the weekly stochastic RSI. Remember, the bigger the time frame, the more powerful are the indicators, okay? So keep your eyes on this one and also keep your eyes on the RSI as well, right? Because if we are able to break this structure, then it's all good news for us, right? And if you are able to break this structure, I'm sure we'll, on the fear and greed index, we'll break this structure as well. We'll, we'll, we'll close above 73 or 70 75 right so thank you so much for tuning in to today's video uh, do subscribe to our channel do like our video do share this video with at least one person in your network so that they are also able to you know gain some bit of knowledge about bitcoin and if you want me to cover any technicals about any other coin leave them in the comments i'll be happy to do that thank you so much